Today we're looking at another Suicide Boys beat. Uh, this one's called I Will Celebrate for Stepping on Broken Glass. Um, I know there's more to the title, but I can't remember what it's called. It'll be the title of this video, so you'll be watching it because you'll know what it is. Um, this is a great song. It uses such cool samples from an artist called Comtrues. You should definitely listen to Comtrues' music. Um, it's great. Really awesome synth-based beats. Let's just listen to uh, the song though. This beat does such a good job at separation between the elements. Um, and I think it takes, in, in stru structure-wise, I think it takes inspiration from rock and heavy metal uh, in terms of the bass playing like solidly and then just it just cuts out to allow the rest of the song breathing room. And that's what you need when making songs like this. Um, if, you're struck, if you're needing some tips on song structure, Things like that. It's not all about call and response, and it's not all about layering all the elements correctly. It's about. It's also about uh, taking things out and adding things in sparsely, replacing things with other things sparsely. And that's what gives you that great separation. Uh, but let's go through the samples. It looks like. Let's go through. Let's let's look at the vocals first. Yeah, it's just had a bit of EQ put on it and it's been sped up by 5.3%. Um, that's it. And it's been chopped, obviously. You can see how the sample jumps about. You want to chop up samples like this so that you can easily play them on the keyboard. That's how sampling's done. You chop it up and you press keys, you get what you want and you play it in the right order. That's how it's done. Let's listen to the synth samples. It's a good use of layering. One sample is used for the bass, I think. You know what? I'm going. I'm getting ahead of myself because <laughs> I haven't. I haven't made. I made this a long time ago, so I can't remember. Let's listen to the samples one at a time. So there's one, and that one's used for the background synth and the sort of build up the drum build up uh, that one seems to be used to kind of fill out the body a bit more just to keep it all cohesive because in the first sample the lower uh, synth sam uh, sounds kind of cut out yeah and this one's just the bass put it all together Yeah. 
you want the start of your songs to start off uh, strongly, I think. If it's not starting with singing, if it's just starting with samples like this, you want the use of the samples to be strong choices and in your face. Every sample here serves a purpose. Like if I mute one, you'll notice the difference. No drums. No body. And that one you probably notice the most, it just gets rid of the bass. Every sample's been put in this deliberately, um, <clears throat> just to give it a nice full sound. And to help it, to help glue it all together, a little bit of EQ to boost the low mids, a bit of soothe, just to round off some frequencies. Nasty uh, resonances that we're getting rid of there. And I seem to have double boosted the EQ. Whatever, my decisions, <laughs> my decisions do not reflect what is actually taught in schools and is what you should be doing. I just do what I think sounds good. Yeah. An important part of this beat is, like I think I, think I said before, is the separation between the main section. That's why I think there's only one synth sample playing here. There's only one sample playing here. There's no bass in this sample. The 808 is what's driving it forward. This is one of the rare op uh, uh, moments where I use a, a sampled 808 that someone else has actually made. Don't be scared of using samples that you didn't make. Other people are there to make these samples for you. Um, if you're struggling with something and you really can't, you'll find it online somewhere, something better than what you can, that one you can make and then you can just use it. Nobody cares. Yeah. Listen to how the bass, I hope you can see this, listen to how the bass, these notes here, they cut out, but they're sort of like carried on in a way by the the big splashy snare drum. And to hear that, <clears throat> gives the beat its feel. But yeah, that's pretty much the beat. A couple of samples, a couple of synthy samples, a bit of vocals, some drums and some bass. <clears throat> Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.